Hi there. Here's a diagram short looking at economies of scale and the impact on a firm's price and profit. Economies of scale, of course, are the, the gains in terms of lower long-term unit costs as a result of a business expanding the scale of production internally. Um, and as a result, uh, firms can achieve lower costs operating a bigger scale of output. Here's our initial diagram. We're going to assume the firm is a profit maximizer. It's going to find an output where marginal cost meets marginal revenue. Here, take it up to the demand curve. You can charge price P1. The unit cost using the average cost curve is C1. And uh, we can show that this firm is making supernormal profits uh, equal to the shaded green area. Now, with economies of scale, costs will fall. Unit costs will fall. I'm not going to show the long and average cost, the cost curve. I'm going to just show a set of cost curves, MC2 and AC2, which are significantly lower, and the firm can operate on a higher scale of, produ of production. Again, uh, we're going to assume profit maximization. So they will find it output Q2, and uh, they can now charge price P2 using the same demand curve. We're going to assume the demand conditions remain the same. The unit cost is now C2, much lower than before. And can you see here that the firm is going to make a significantly higher level of profit, equal to the yellow area. So in comps of scale, allow firms to reduce their price and make higher profits. Just to show this, let's go back. and I'll put in the level of profit beforehand. There it was in green. And now the level of profit at Q2 is much higher, despite the firm reducing their price. Of course, the scale of production is much bigger. The unit cost is significantly lower. So therefore, the firm can make higher profits. This is how we can show economies of scale, price and profit. Just a quick overview. So with economies of scale, the output will be higher in the long run, oftentimes way higher for big scale economies. Profit maximizing price, other things being the same, will be lower. Total profit will be higher. Producer surplus will be higher. And two, consumer surplus, if the, the firm is able to charge a much lower price for their product. So economies of scale is an important thing to consider when you're analysing and evaluating monopolistic markets. This has been a topic short video on comms of scale, price and profit.